match, Ronnie Bresser, who we've talked about, ranked number one in this conference. And Ryan Milhoff, who spent some time on the sidelines this year, but opened the season with wins over South Dakota State, UNC, Ohio State, and came back on senior night, defeating Ben Martinez of Cal Poly. Coach, our championship move. Ronnie Bresser is a beast. He is so aggressive. Here you see him get in the cradle, turning his hips. Good stuff. Gets it tight. You see it slowing down. He's going to change off and get the tight pin hold. Uh, man, he comes out strong sometimes early in the matches, always looking for the pin. And here he gets it against Stanford. Uh, but here against Milhoff in the match coming up, it's going to be a lot tougher to run him over and bully him like that. But that was quite impressive. It's a rematch of last year's championship. 3-2 decision. Bresser victorious. Matter of fact, twice he has been a Pac-12 champion. Placed seventh in the NCAAs last year for Milhoff, as we said. Right in the classroom, outstanding Pac-12 all-academic team, first team. And, uh, this is going to be a fun one. We'll keep an eye on the third-place match as well. Gabe Council, Stanford, Eddie Flores, Bakersfield. But away we go at 125 for the championship. The key right now is for Bresser to get off to an early start. His strongest position is on his feet, his quick movement, got a number of attacks. He needs to get that early takedown to allow himself the opportunity to not go underneath Milhoff, which that's where Milhoff is strong, the top position. Big decision that'll be too. I mean, that, that's a critical match strategy. You can count on this, or at least expect it to be low scoring. And Bresser will have a big decision to make whether to go underneath or not. So I'm sure in his mind he's thinking, if I get that first takedown or two, I'm not going underneath. The colorful hair, the tattoos that are fun to see, and the amazing wrestling. All of that looks much better when you can get after it. As Ian Milhoff battle for position. Bresser keeps, keeps dropping down to his knees in that tie-up. He's comfortable wrestling in that position. He'll clear the tie, shoot really low on those legs. So right now, Milhoff is doing a nice job. He's engaging the ties. He's keeping his head hands defense in motion there. Not allowing Bresser the opportunity to get in deep on any shots there. I think Milhoff could be content to keep it close. You can see he's just kind of chilling. He's very relaxed. And that's a great shot. This is key. Now, Milhoff is funky. The Bresser, that Bresser's doing really well. He's doing everything right. But again, Milhoff is just really scrambly and funky here. Bresser's going to make a move to the left, and Milhoff's going to make a scramble move. Oh, this is a good scramble here. I think Milhoff's in pretty good position here. His leg is really cocked in here. Nice job by Bresser. There's the two. It was a terrific job by Bresser. He controlled that right leg of Milhoff. I think that was the key in that position. You saw Milhoff was kind of getting scrambly there, but Bresser kept that leg, so that just allowed allowed Bresser really to control that situation, didn't get out of there. Yeah, that was a twisty position. Understand that a victory in a championship is about 16 points. Now, if there are major decisions, tech falls, which rarely happen, as you and I were talking about. But it's tight right now. Stanford 67, Arizona State 63, and Oregon State 57 and a half. Absolutely, any any of the three teams can win it. I mean, it's, they're separated by a match or two. It's going to come down to you know right down to the upper middleweights and heavyweights. Stanford. Now they're both going low. Stanford was six, and then five and five for Andrew and Oregon State wrestling on the championship side. Bill has got a hold here. He's got a deep right underhook. He's got his hands locked. Pressure's clamping hard. I don't think Bill going to get much going here. But uh, boy, that's tight. Smart wrestling right there by Bresser, staying low, controlling that arm of Milhoff. He doesn't want to go up because you see the scoring position here, that funky scramble. This is where Bresser was controlling that leg of Milhoff. He kept that elevated, kept the head tight. That allowed him to control that scramble situation. Interesting move, Anthony, with Bresser letting him go. So he didn't even try to ride at all. Even though he's really tough on top, he's one of the guys that does your cross wrist roll really well. He made the conscious decision just to cut him loose. He, he believes he can get another takedown, and he did. He, Technically, uh, you'd think tactically he would have kept him down and rode him a little bit. Uh, he goes right down. He's not messing around. He's like, I'm going bottom. All right, so this is a big thing. Milhoff is going to try hard to ride him, slow him down. He's got another number of trick moves. He does some side headlocks. He's got some far side cross face cradles. Presser jumped that time. Presser jumped. So this is a key 10 seconds. Can Milhoff stop that first explosion? Nice job. Oh, Bresser gets Boy, to his incredible. feet. 
Smart wrestling there by Bresser. That's Milhouse bread and butter. He'll throw that leg in on the right side, try to ride crossbody, look for a cradle. Bresser sensed it, so he'll seize that ankle before it got in deep. Now this is, you don't see this. This is a weird position. I, didn't, I can't recall seeing this exact position in, in recent competition. And Kenny, the question is how long do you hang in in that position? Well, they call him little upper star. Like he's trying. I think he's trying reasonably hard to get Great. it out. It's a weird position. I think it's a stalemate position. I mean, I'm, I can't remember ever seeing that exact position, Anthony. You? Yeah, it's a tough situation to call there, but... Who's finally able to return him down to the mat. There's the one escape, finally. Wow. A lot of riding time for Milhoff there. But, you know, I like Bresser's decision to go bottom. Now, that shows his confidence, just being able to get out from a guy who's tough on top. It shows that he's, he's really, he's focusing on the big picture. It's not just about this match. He's trying to get better, trying to improve to be a national champion. That's what it takes. You got to challenge yourself in those tough positions against the tough opponents. Presser, a redshirt senior out of Klamath Falls, Oregon. Bonnie Lake High School. Milhoff out of Georgia. Collins Hill High School just outside of Atlanta in Swanee. Milhoff needs to kind of pick up the pace here, wrapping up the end of the second period. And he's down by two points. He needs to get his offense going. He's got a nice inside trip. He's got a nice shot to his left. He's got to get some offense going, get some level changes, start pulling that trigger. That's exactly what he tried, Anthony. He's a slide by right here. So far, he's only been able to get to a right under, but Bresser looks content here just to squeeze. So Milhoff will go down now. It'll be interesting if Bresser tries to ride him some. I mean, it's, it's really confident on Bresser's part. He lets him go again. If I'm Bresser, I'm trying to ride him, get a cross wrist roll. But so far, Bresser's let him go twice. Jim Zaleski a moment ago, the legendary coach of Oregon State, more Pac-12 championships than any other school in this conference. Nice move. He did clamp, two clamps in a row, and, and Bresser did a good job of staying tight to the hips. So Milhoff is unorthodox. Bresser does not want to get reversed. He's like, I'm going to let you go. So Milhoff is good at that move. You don't see that move by Anthony. Maybe uh, Imar. Imar is probably the guy that I remember doing a fair amount of times. So, start, oh wow, big call. So they so call it three. Presser, presser for leaving the mat. And the cameraman, I'm, I didn't get a really good view of if he blocked off intentionally or was pushed off. I'd have to see that again there. That was that's a really big point right there. So we got we have a time match. Two quick points on guys with regard to the escape and then the call. Yeah, so, so Bresser let him go. And, um, basically, Milhoff charged in and Bresser did not circle in, got called for stalling, fling the man. This is the one big area that I thought Bresser needed to improve on, which is his ability to finish off matches. It starts off really strong in first and second period, but he, kinda, he tends to shut down an offense too soon. He can't do that right now. Milhoff is tied it up now. He's got the stall against him, so Bresser needs to keep that offense going, keep that motion going, get some level changes, get some shots off here. Don't just engage in the ties. Right yeah. around 50 seconds. He must have been listening to you right there. But Milhoff is funky. That, that's really good by Milhoff to recover. Oh, wow. That's terrible. The snake. Bresser, that's his move. Everybody knows he's coming. He, he just bullies it. He forces that position. He's feeling good about himself now. He might get called potentially dangerous here. They, they would start again. Bresser's just going to milk this. I mean, that, that, you, I call that a stalemate. Milhoff is so flexible. There's the potentially dangerous call. So Milhoff's got to get a reversal to, to tie it. He's going to clamp that elbow. Bresser's going to sit back and stall ride. He might let him go, but he'll try to ride him without getting reversed. ready for it that time. He's going to stay back. He's going to keep his hips back. He's not going to get put with any of that pump. Milhoff's going to try a little crazy flip over. One second. I can't run. Bresser's got to circle in.
Dave Bresser is a Pac-12 champion. What a great way to start things. Tell you what, Bresser starting off early with that takedown, finished off the match with another takedown. So right here, trying to circle behind him off, was giving him that funky shoulder, but Bresser stayed tight with that head and arm. So able to reach across for that spiral, drive him down to the mat. And then shot off for the two points there. The snake. He goes <laughs> deep. He gets the arm deep. He's got the chin tight. And he just stays with it. Six big points there.